Just throw your motherfucking hands in the air. Represent your hood like it just don't care. Set up shop, never close and get riches. And never stop rolling foes and hitting switches. Throw your motherfucking hands in the air. Represent your hood like it just don't care. Set up shop, never close and get riches. And never stop rolling foes. And started running back in safety for Miami's Gulliver Prep. His desire and gifts were honed by his father, who put him through a rigorous daily training regimen. Workouts could happen anytime, anywhere. We would get in front of his house, work out. His daddy would get us up, take us, trick us. Like, come on, let's go get some, some, some slushies. We'd get the slushies, and as soon as you get back in the car, he'll take your slushies and make you run to the house. Now you gotta run all the way home to get the slushies. Like, there's no better motivator than Pete Taylor. In his preseason debut, he ended his first series with an interception. First game, NFL, he was the best player on the field. And you could see it. There is Sean Taylor. We talked about this rookie. What a splash he's already made. I said, all right, we got ourselves a, a Hall of Fame Pro Bowl player here. That's his fourth takeaway in two and a quarter games for the Redskins. Everybody could see it. Even though all us are top flight athletes, it was something different about him. And it separated him from the rest of us. We were playing against Cincinnati. We talked about this play all week. And we were like, you know, Sean, you're going to go out there under Chad Johnson, make him throw it high, and I was going to get to, like, come over the top and, like, be the hero. And he jumps up and picks it off. I remember everybody calling, like, man, your boy crazy. And I'm like, what happened? Because I wasn't watching the Pro Bowl. Yeah. Brian Morgan is going to speak. Like, wow. That's why he can be known as one of the best safeties to play the game. You drew it up to be a good play. And he made it a great play. He made it a turnover. He made it something mere mortals can't do. God made certain people to play football for sure. He was one of them. He was never one of those guys to be like, what you're reporting about me or the stories you hear are wrong. Here's what really happened. And so from the outside world, when you hear those things, you perceive them as the truth. And then the misconception people have is that, okay, we hear these things about him living recklessly off the field, and we believe them because we watch him play football. And when he plays football, he's reckless. And so people thought that was who he was, but it wasn't. Even for his teammates, knowing what stories to believe about Taylor could be difficult unless witnessed in person. When I first got here in 05, I used to see this BMW sitting in the parking lot all the time. And I remember asking Porter, like, who car is that? He like, oh, that's Sean's. And he giggled about it. And so I'm like, why is this car here every day? And he like, oh, Sean, man, he, he normally runs home. So, you know, I'm sitting here like, what? I mean, one day I caught him, I'm leaving out late, and I see him just running down the street. Those are things that now you look back at when we play the game, never got tired. That's why, because he put in the work behind closed doors that a lot of guys don't do. We'd be up there in the office and you'd go, look at that. And it'd be Sean before practice, running 100 yard striders on the field. Now the coaches told him to do that. Just in his mind, that was something he felt like he should do. 2005 season, we had so much fun before the Eagles game. I was just like, I was so pumped up. You know, I wanted to do something different. We were on the national stage, and I'm just like, man, come on, Sean, like, let's do something. Yeah, we're getting ready to play the game, and Sean and Clinton, and they got striped socks on. What, what, what are you doing? These are the two guys who express their individuality through their wardrobe. 